all right what's going on youtube it is your boy ears now i'm making this video because i know a lot of you guys are probably you know seeing a lot of this on twitter you guys are probably seeing it in the live streams you guys have heard me complain about it in the live streams these past two nights and that's going to be on skill based matchmaking within call of duty world war 2 now i'm making this video on my channel because i actually have a conspiracy theory as to why skill based matchmaking was added to this game now if you guys are you know questioning what skill based matchmaking is it pretty much is matchmaking you know pretty much connecting you to players who have similar skill as opposed to connecting you to players who are you know living in the same you know general era you are so you have the best connection um in game so the game is as running as smooth as possible and you having the most fun playing the game now obviously this is not the case within call of duty world war ii if you guys have watched my live streams if you guys are watching all my videos you guys can see there are multiple players at least two to three players on each team that are pretty much milli rocking or lagging across the stream i call it milli rocking because there really is no other way to explain how it's you know how what's happening people are literally skipping across my screen and this honestly should not be happening in call of duty this happened within black ops 3 a lot uh, toward the beginning when there was a skill based matchmaking aspect in the game and then they actually removed it or toned it down i hope they do actually tone it down within this game or just remove it altogether because there is a ranked playlist and there is an mlg playlist on the game that literally connects you to your mlg account so there really is no reason for pubs to be, you know, skill based for whatever. But honestly, go back into the commentary topic as to why I feel like they added skill based mash paint to this game. Personally, I feel that Sledgehammer did not want to make this Call of Duty. Now, there's been multiple rumors that, you know, they wanted to make Advanced Warfare 2 instead of this game. Now, this is actually, when I mean, people are linking this on Twitter, um, I'll probably link some articles if you guys care about that. But honestly, I don't think they really wanted to make this Call of Duty game. This actually goes back to another video I made way back, you know, like probably two months ago about how I said Call of Duty World War 2 is being intentionally sabotaged. Now, literally, I'm really thinking that the game is being intentionally sabotaged. I think they're actually, now this is going to sound absolutely insane. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be like, yo, you're out of your mind. There's no way they're doing this. But I honestly feel like they're trying to push a jetpack agenda back into Call of Duty. Now, the reason I'm saying this is because this game has, you know, it's a good, I like boots on the ground CODs, but I don't like when they double back and they just take away everything that made a boots on the ground COD great. And they pretty much add it, you know, from what jetpack games had into this game now if you guys are unaware what i'm talking about the divisions are a fantastic you know way as to why you know i feel that this game was intentionally sabotaged and why you know skill-based matchmaking was added is because we've had three prior jetpack call of duties obviously majority of the people who play call of duty now you know most likely are not the same players as they are playing the game you know as world war ii and you guys can see you guys can see in the comment sections you guys can see constantly on everybody's videos if you look at anybody you know big's channel you look at swag xbl you look at you know dismo any big channel you know that built a fan base pretty much primarily their fan base on a jetpack call of duty you can see top comments in their video section saying yo bro please go back to iw yo bro please go back to black ops 3 you guys can see it in my comment section below there's at least one or two people People and each and every video that hits sub boxes that says yo bro please go back to infinite warfare i don't like this game this game's shit this game's ass you know yada 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 people don't like the game uh world war ii that have played prior jetpack call of duties and i feel like they added skill-based matchmaking as a cushion for players to get used to boots on ground so they wouldn't be getting completely pub stomped by players who were used to the boots on ground cards because in all honesty I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but a lot of people that have played, you know, prior Call of Duties most likely quit during the jetpack age because they just don't like jetpacks. Personally, I do YouTube. Honestly, if I didn't do YouTube, I wouldn't have played Infinite Warfare. I sure as hell wouldn't have played Black Ops 3 because I think that is probably one of the worst Call of Duties that has been ever made. But I stuck through it because, you know, I enjoy making content for you guys. And I like boots on the ground COD, so I never left. I was on the scene the entire time. A lot of people, especially friends that I know, quit Call of Duty before, you know, the jetpack or right after the jetpack era started because they just didn't stay in the game. Now they are back. So I feel like they're afraid that newer players, you know, players that started playing the game, maybe during Black Ops 3, Infinite Warfare, will be turned off to boots on ground CODs if they were playing players, you know, based off the connection and if they ran into lobbies of players that were actually good. Now this is why I feel that skill-based matchmaking was added, but I think it's so stupid to add skill-based matchmaking to this game because there is a learning curve that pretty much 
everybody had to get used to if you play Call of Duty 4. Back in the day, and if you like when you first started playing a game, you first start doing anything, odds are you're not going to be amazing at it. You might be pretty decent at it, but you're not going to be at your peak performance. When I started playing Call of Duty, I was absolutely terrible. I was excited if I got five kills and died 20 times. Now I go like 50 and 0 in half of my games. And, you know, it's just how it is. It's just like it's every day. It's just, you know, how the gameplay is played to me because I'm so used to it. And players like, you know, who are playing bad players over and over and over again are never going to get to their peak performance. And they're never going to actually be good at the game if they, you know, do not go through that struggle stage. I remember, like, playing COD 4, you know, searching up YouTubers, how to get good at COD, how to do that, how to do this. You know, all those tips, tips and tricks videos. Because I felt that, you know, that was how to get better. And a lot of players aren't doing that. There are some players, which is why I still make tutorial videos. Because there are some legitimate, you know, genuine players who, you know, want to get good at Call of Duty. And, you know, they want to become, you know, their top of the performance. And, you know, I make those videos like that. But it's nearly impossible for people to actually get, you know engulfed in the series and enjoy it like how i do if they don't get pub stomped at first you know and have a feeling on how to get trapped and all that stuff because honestly if you think back to black ops 1 i'm gonna say black ops 1 is probably you know when call of duty started to pop off originally on youtube especially in the community because spawn trapping was humongous in black ops 1 half the people who got spawn trapped in black ops 1 are people who are spawn trapping now like you have to get pub stomped and get destroyed to get good at call of duty and i feel that people are never going to be able to do that and people are never going to be able to you know like i said enjoy the series as well as they should if they you know have a skill-based matchmaking factor within the game now players can go ahead and play the competitive ranked playlist because that's in the game that's what it's for that's for when people want to play competitive but if i'm just trying to play on pilot mode you know just chill run around with a shotgun you know snipe or use a pistol I can't do that in a public match setting if you have a 2 plus, you know, KD because everybody that me matching up against is either A, sweating for a YouTube video, B, just, you know, just trying as hard as they can because that's how they enjoy the game or C, warming up for, you know, a UMG match that they're about to play, you know, in the near future. It's just not a fun, you know, environment to play on. It's just something that I feel that they should actually remove from this game because it's just going to end up killing the fan base. It's going to be just like how Advanced Warfare was with the reverse boosting accounts and if people start reverse boosting and honestly you know that's just the norm of the game you know you check youtube people are getting you know penta v2 rockets against dyers the game's just going to be so you know untasteful it's just going to be there's going to be no reason to play it because personally i refuse to reverse boost and honestly it's going to be very difficult you know actually not really for myself but it's just going to be it's irritating to make content when you have other people just reverse boosting you know taking the easy way out and i feel like it's just not a good addition to call of duty and i feel that they should really just take it out of the game there's no reason for them to have skill based matchmaking within call of duty world war 2 there's no reason you know for them to actually tweak you know skill over connection you know based play because like i said in my previous videos you know first impressions are key if you're playing a game and you're lagging because you're playing against people who are far away from you that's not even skill based that's unfair because whoever legit you know has the better host or whatever dedicated server you're connecting to if those tryhards are on that server and you're you know I, I live in chicago so if i'm playing people from california they have a significantly better advantage uh than i do because you know their region and and if the host is over there or the server i'm connecting to is in california i'm going to get destroyed there's nothing i can do i'm be running up you know a 250 ping you know in the server and against their nine and that's literally impossible you can't win gunfights especially if you're trying to run a sub so people hide they sit in corners they don't move it's just a recipe for disaster pretty much the same exact thing of what happened in advanced warfare will happen within this game if skill-based matchmaking you know stays in the game and you will see a lot of people you know dropping off the scene you'll see a lot of people going back to black ops 3 which is downright you know embarrassing and sad the fact that black ops 3 is going to be a black ops 3 year 3 on youtube i don't understand how developers can even leave that down i don't understand you know honestly if black ops 3 year 3 does happen call of duty is pretty much finished the game's dead the series is over if the fact that a game is able to last three years kind of equivalent to how black ops 2 is still relevant they honestly just need to look back and think as you know what takes you know what is a good call of duty what do people like people like good maps good rotations nice guns and nice streaks and obviously a nuclear or some sort added to the game you know and honestly for you know contradiction you know black ops 2 and black ops 3 didn't have a nuclear but they had 
a, and a massive, you know, DLC and good maps and good streaks that kept people entertained. So I feel like that's probably the best way they should be doing. They should probably model games like off of that. Even though I really didn't like Black Ops 3, but it did have a fantastic longevity feel to it. I just feel that if they just did that, you know, Call of Duty would be a lot better. And I honestly just feel that, you know, adding skill-based match playing to this game is a horrible idea and they need to take it out because it's only going to make the game a lot worse and people are just not going to enjoy it let me know what you guys think it's been your boy ears this is going to be the first and only rant i'll be making on skill-based matchmaking hopefully it gets taken out let me know what you guys think below and i'll catch you guys later peace